And he's like, give me the ball. He's like, no, I'm not. You, know, you want to shoot it? Go. I guess Ivy wants to go up one more time. And I think the game, the clock's all messed up. <laughs> They're just going to count the basket and let's go home. 129 to 107, it appears, is the final score here tonight. As Atlanta gets the win to sweep the Pistons in four games. And Ivy and Collins, they got something going on here. This is not a friendly everybody hug everybody end of the game. The Pistons are coming across the midcourt line, but I was wondering why Ivy was intent on taking that ball to the basket. There's a little something going on down there. Yeah, he was going to Krejci. That's what that was. So the security teams come out. The referees are still out there. Coaches are still on the floor. They're trying to get this broken up here. We're training those guys. Let's go to the locker room. Don't engage in that. I mean, why? This is senseless. You, you blew them out about 30 plus. Cooler heads seem to be prevailing now. Well, Trey's got something to say. Trying to push him away. This is what happened at the end of the game. You see Ivy taking it to the hole here, which is, you know, usually you just dribble out the clock and end the game. But Ivy, for some reason, he was upset about something. Krejci had something to say, and Ivy just sticks around, and here come the benches. Now, the game's over, so they're coming out onto the court. And that's okay, but, you know, Magruder rushes in. Ivy's got a lot to say, and... So does R.J. Hampton. So what was a pretty lopsided game finally comes to an end. And this one is over. And exchange of the jerseys here for the former Piston. You know, it's, it's, it's a lot of talking going on. You know, at the end of the day, you just have to move on. You got to be bigger than that. The final score here today is Atlanta 129 and Detroit 107. So we're waiting for Sadiq to come by and here he is right now with Lauren. Thanks so much Bob. Appreciate it. Sadiq saying hi to all of your former teammates over there. What was it like being on the other side in a different jersey tonight? Oh, it's crazy. It's like you said, my first time doing this. So uh, but my guys, they play hard, man. And, uh, you know, like I said, the relationships last a lifetime, so it was good to see him. For you, this is your first double-double in a Hawks uniform. Just what was working well with your shots and also taking advantage on the glass? Yeah, just trying to, you know, be multifaceted, you know, work on defense end of the floor, offense end of the floor, try to rebound, defend, you know, help my team as much as possible. So, um, you know, I'm glad we got the win. I know Quinn Snyder was preaching yesterday and this morning, just keep your foot on the gas the entire game, four quarters. What did you think about your team's performance, especially in that third quarter, holding them to only 19? Yeah, it was great, man. We started it off we start to finish you know we play hard and uh, you know it was good to you know do it before quarters man it was great did Killian Hayes give you his jersey too or you just give your jersey uh, to him uh, yeah he asked for my uh, yeah he asked for my but that's my guy though. I'll probably get his too that's my guy though we came in together um, so I, mean, I think he already gave his jersey up but it was good it was good to see him and being able to do it in front of all of these veterans and military members it was crowning courage night just what does that mean to get the win here in front of a home crowd oh it means a lot man they sacrificed their lives um, you know for the freedom of our country and so, you know, they, that's the real competition. That's the real pressure uh, is those guys that uh, put on that uniform. So uh, it's much respect to them. Sadiq, incredible performance. Congrats on the win. Go celebrate with the guys. Uh, thank you. Appreciate it. Bob Neek. While that interview was going on, many of you saw that shoe uh, handoff from Trey to that young fan. Wow, they are some kind of happy. He is beaming that young man there with Trey's game-worn shoes. That's outstanding. And you see the, the happy smile as they get ready to leave State Farm. And Trey he lost his shirt, lost his shoes. It's a lonely, cold walk back to the locker room tonight. But he made a lot of faithful happy, that's for sure.